All right, my friends, greetings. Thanks for stopping by. Happy Wednesday. Buddy says hello. This is an important video. So important that we had to get Buddy out to help us with it. This is going to cover things like street address, banking, taxes, uh, vehicle registration, license plates for your van. Real important stuff. Uh, the lighting's terrible, but we can overlook that for now. Okay, let's start with street address. I'm going to tell you what I did. You can make your own decision how you want to do it. I went to the UPS store and bought a mailbox service. Um, you know, when you walk in, they got a lot of mailboxes along the wall. And uh, you pick the size mailbox and the service you want. I went ahead and got the one-year contract and kind of a small mailbox. And uh, it's expensive, but it works for me. So that's why I did it. Um, that's where you got to start. You got to have a street address. No, no way around it. Second of all, let's talk about banking. Here's why. Everybody I do business with accepts my UPS street address, except the bank. I got on my banking app, put in the address to update it, and it wouldn't take it. It's, it says, no, this is not coming back as a residential address. Can't use it. And I thought, oh, no, what am I going to do? So I talked with my friends that I house it for, explained the situation, and since they're awesome people, they said, no problem. I said, I only have like two things a year come from the bank, but if I could use your address for that, that would be great. No problem. They're wonderful. Um, here's a, an example. The other day I noticed that my uh, credit card was about to expire, and I wanted to go ahead and get that taken care of. So I got on the app and ordered the new card, and they said it'll be sent to you in about a week. Well, they got to send it somewhere, right? Where are they going to send it? My friend's house. So I text my friends and say, I've got a letter coming from the bank. Just let me know when it comes in. I'll swing by and pick it up. Uh, that happened yesterday. Went by, picked it up, and uh, worked like a charm. That's the people I house it for. And I got big news about house sitting at the end of the video. But for time, uh, we'll move on. So, uh, got to get a street address. And you have to use an address that your bank will actually send you. Even though I'm paperless on everything, I still get a few letters from the bank, you know, two or three times a year. So, let's move on to vehicle registration. You know, you got to renew your license plate every year. So I notice mine is expiring in June, but I want to go ahead and get that taken care of. So I get on the uh, Davidson County website, which uh, Nashville's in Davidson County. And uh, here in the, in the metro, we have to do emissions testing. And you know, you gotta go get your vehicle inspected every year before you can renew your license. It's a hassle and you don't want to be 2,000 miles away when that comes due. You know, you got to do it or you can't renew your license plate. So I get on the website and turns out I can only do it 90 days in advance. So I got to wait almost another month before I can do that. So that's going to suck, but there's no way around it. So at least they accept my UPS store address, though. Everybody does except the bank. For some odd reason. All right, let's keep moving on. We're trying to cover a lot in a short time because I know you got things to do. Um, let's see. Next thing would be taxes. It's tax time. I just did my taxes. I have two sources of income: my job, which sends me a W-2 form. Well, that's easy. And then I have U YouTube ad revenue now. So you have to report that because Google, which owns YouTube, will send you a 1099 showing what you made and what taxes were withheld. They don't withhold tax. That's your responsibility to pay all that. And uh, the tax rate, I think it ended up being like 17%, maybe more than that. But uh, I did all that on TurboTax. And since my taxes are a little more complicated now, I had to upgrade to the paid TurboTax service which is another 40 bucks. 
and then they charge you another 20 something to file it for you. So yeah, I just had a big lump sum of taxes come out. But uh, you, you don't want to have trouble with the IRS or the county government or anything while you're out on the road if you're nomadic. You want to get all that straightened out ahead of time. So luckily, you know, the county uh, license plate office, they accept my UPS store address. Everybody does except the bank. So I want you to know ahead of time it's possible your bank's not going to accept your UPS store address. If you have a friend or relative that'll just let you use their address, then you got it made. Problem is, if you get mail and you're a thousand miles away, are they going to take the time to send it to you? And then uh, that brings you up to general delivery at the post office. Let's say you're in Arizona and uh, you're using an address in Tennessee you're going to have to go to your local post office in Arizona and see if they accept general delivery. If they do, just have your stuff sent there. And with a UPS store account, they will forward your mail anywhere you are in the country. So that's a good service. I'm going to keep my residence in Tennessee. There's a, one main reason is Tennessee is income tax free. There's only a handful of those states left. Let's see, it's Tennessee, Texas, Nevada, Florida, and maybe South Dakota. If I ever change residences, I'll probably pick Nevada because I've seen Bob Wells explain how to do that. But for now, I'm established here in Tennessee. Got my driver's license, car registration, everything here in Tennessee, income tax free, and why why mix it up you know all right i gotta take a break gather my thoughts be right back all right so i think we've covered most everything here's some news on the house sitting so when i went over to get my mail they said you know we're going to be out of town for about a month you're still going to watch the place whole month that'll start uh in about five days it'll either be this weekend or tuesday they don't know yet but they'll be gone until probably the first week of April. So uh, that's going to be a great, much needed time. I can use their driveway and their um, garage to do some things I need to get squared away on the van. And I've got a whole month where I don't have to rush. It's, uh, it's a great resource to have. And they're great friends to have. They really are. All right, guys, so we wrap this up in less than 10 minutes. Unbelievable. I, we have time to recap, but um, I can't really think of anything right now off the top of my head that I missed. Um, sorry for the bad lighting and the weird camera angle, but you understand I've got a limited time at my lunch break. I had to get this video in. And as always, I appreciate your time and you stopping by. Take care. Be well. Smash the bell.